It is time for yet again another indie author showcase and this time we're doing the month of July. I have about four or five books releasing in July for you guys today and if this is your first time here, hi, welcome. My name is Graham, this is my channel and every single month I like to showcase about five or six indie authors who have books releasing in the following month. And so every month I do this so that we can be able to support indie authors and maybe get to see some books that we normally don't get to see in the limelight, right? And so I do a lot of research scrolling through social media, you know, great research and find and pick out some books that just sound cool to me and hopefully they sound cool to you. So if you like the type of stuff, you can like, subscribe, do all that jazz. And now let's just jump into it. Our first book is going to be called The Bright and the Blue by Amy York. Now this is the second book in a series. This is book two of The Wilder Rise Tales, right? And this is the description of what this book is. So Rinka is done with the city. She's done with the job she's always hated. She's done with the never-ending rent increases. And most of all, she's done with her big dreams. Isn't it time for her to listen to her mother and settle for less? But when she packs up her life to join her friend Allison in the country, she's not the only one new in town. The king is coming, and he's bringing the entire court and the re uh, retinue of dwarven industrialists. Bet bent on turning Rinka and Allison's new home into the next great center of commerce. The only problem? Their town will be at the bottom of a lake. To save the town from its watery fate, they'll have to find a way to change the hearts and minds of the nobles who would see it in ruins. As Rinka infiltrates their ranks, she finds herself caught up in the glamorous world she's always dreamed of, and things only get more complicated when she falls for one of their members. The Bright and the Blue is available on Kindle Limited and available on Kindle and it probably will be coming out on paperback as well uh, because the first one was. A lot of the time on the Amazon links that I'm going to have linked below is you won't be able to pre-order the paperbacks. They usually come out on the day of is what I've been learning through the independent author process. So there you go. So again, Kindle, Kindle Limited and paperback, you can be able to read this book here. Next up, we have another book coming out on July 9th and that book is on its own. It's a solo adventure and it's called The Daughter of Olympus by Hannah Lynn. Hannah Lynn is actually a pretty renowned independent author from what I've been doing research on. This is the first time I'm hearing of her, but she has won some awards for her uh, works before. And so she seems like more of a popular independent author, if that matters to you at all. But this book is interesting. It's kind of this romance kind of Hades type thing. It's something we've seen a lot happen, but it's kind of more of like a historical like fiction of like stories past involving Greek mythology. So let's go ahead and read that description. Demeter, a goddess of life living half of one. Demeter did not always live in fear. Once she loved the world and the humans who inhabited it. After an act of devastating violence, though, she hides herself away among the grasses and wildflowers. Her only solace is her daughter. Before she was Persephone, she was Kor. Kor is as bright as summer and devoted to her mother, even during their millennia in exile from Olympus, but she craves freedom. Naive and determined, she secretly builds a life of her own, and as she does so, she catches the eye of a powerful god. The daughters of Olympus will have the last word. Then Haiti kidnaps Kor, and renames her as queen of the underworld. In the land without sun, she realizes she may have a chance to gain back what she thought she'd lost forever, but, but Demeter will destroy anything, even the human she holds so dear, to bring her daughter back, a mother who has lost everything, and a daughter with more to gain than she ever realized. They will irrevocably shape the world, all in the name of something as human as love. So there you go. That is a description of it. It sounds like a different take of like Persephone and Hades because the mom is going to be involved. Um, there's some quotes here. It says like a lush, emotional read, perfect for fans of Madeline Miller and Claire Hayward. This is the story of Persephone and Demeter, which, you know, Hades will just be the side character there. So sounds cool. Sounds interesting. Uh, I know it's really popular right now of Hades and Persephone and things of that nature, but let's go ahead and include the mom as well. You can be able to read this book on Kindle, uh, audiobook, and paperback. And if you want to buy an audio CD, they have it on Amazon. I'll have that linked in the description as well. Again, that's coming out on July 9th by Hannah Lynn. So go check it out. It's going to be really cool. Next up in our Indie After Showcase, we have another book. This one is going to be a little bit different than what I typically do because there's a lot of different links used for it, um, but it sounded really cool. It sounded a little bit different and more just fantasy grounded. And so this is called 
The Stone Sword by Diana T. Hunter. Uh, this book has a really cool cover and it is going to be coming out on July 12th. And what's crazy is on Amazon, it doesn't have a description of what this book is, but on um, the author Diana T. Hunter's TikTok, she does a description of what this book is about. So I'm going to go ahead and play that right now. Stone Swords about Beatrix Arnett, a girl who's lived all her life in the mountains with an anti monarchist rebel group known as the Eagles. He isn't much liked by the other Eagles for reasons I'll let you discover in the book, but she's determined to prove herself to them, even if it means risking her life. So, the Eagle volunteers to infiltrate the Hampton Monarchy's castle as a spy. She has the help of her cat Sassy, who she shares a psychic link with, so they hear each other's thoughts and do a couple of other cool things which I won't spoil. He is also accompanied by her handler, Rune and Ark, who she most definitely does not fancy. When she gets to the capital city of Amoa, she discovers it's very different to her mountain home. Here people put a lot of stock into the stone sword being freed one day and along with it, the mythical power known as the Flare. He struggles between doing what she's told and what she believes is right, risking the wrath of both the Eagles and the monarchy. As Bee continues her journey, she realises she's volunteered for a role more dangerous than she possibly could have imagined. When Amwa, friends become foes, romance becomes deadly, and legends become true. So there you go. So if you are interested in Stone Sword, which is the first novel written by Diana T. Hunter, you can be able to order it in the links below. Um, I will have Amazon and a couple others. I know that she is primarily in England, and so uh, we'll put that there. Uh, as far as I can tell, I just see it on paperback, but that could change. Again, this is a first time independent author, and so they're figuring things out as well. And so I'm excited for you guys to be able to support someone's debut novel and go from there. So Stone Sword by Dana T. Hunter coming out on July 12th. Next up on our Indie Author Showcase, we have The Vitruvian Air, book three, The Reckoning by L.S. Kilroy. Uh, so this is again, a third book in the series and it is going to be coming out July 15th and yeah it's really cool i like the covers they're very very basic but let's go ahead and read the description real fast every game has to end sometimes 16 years have passed since lore featherston took the helm as empress of virtuilla and an era of peace has shredded itself in but how long will it last a new generation has come into their own but led by her fiery daughter lena who dreams of toppling the Orison resume once and for all, but Lena has her own weaknesses, namely a foreign prince she's not even supposed to know, the son of her sworn enemy. When an unforeseen abduction tears apart their fragile existence, Lore's world once again transforms to a battleground as she forces to protect what she loves even more than her country, her child. In the meantime, Constance and Lucy make a discovery in Ruby Novum, Petrella's western settlement, that may be what Lore needs to save Lena and the world from certain domination. Little does she know that her, uh, her loyal inner circle and mysterious group of fearsome strangers are boldly planning their own rescue mission. From the depths of subterranean societies and the breathtaking heights of an icy summit to unexpected allies and earth-shattering revelations, experience the epic conclusion that brings this trilogy, the lore story, to an unforgettable close. Sounds fascinating. Sounds really cool. This is actually going to be YA fantasy. According to this, it says from ages 12 to 18. And so it seems like an easy read and uh, really fun. Uh, again, this is the third book and finale to a trilogy, and so you can buy the rest of the series on Kindle and paperback right now, which I also will have linked below. I'll have the first book linked at least so you can see the rest of them if you decide to search for it. But um, you also can be able to buy this on Kindle too. So Kindle, paperback, Kindle Limited, all three things available. You can be able to read the series if that interests you. This is coming out July 15th. And again, those covers are kind of cool, like Victorian style type, simplistic stuff. And I dig it. So uh, there we go. So, so far we've had a few fantasy, a little bit of romance and things of that nature. But now we are on to our last book and one that's just a little bit different. And this is coming out on July 23rd and it's called The Offer by Cameron Norris. Uh, the Offer uh, it has a really cool cover. I really like it. It seems, you know, just basic and peaceful, but this is a psychological thriller book, which is pretty different from the rest of them. So let's go ahead and read the description. Bree Johnson 
is a dedicated wife and mother, but even she enjoys a night out now and again, and Lakayla's bachelorette party is the perfect opportunity. At least until Bree has a rough up some guy for getting handsy and he winds up on the news, dead. Lakea swears she'll keep what she knows under wraps, but only if Bree does her the favor of watching her teenage daughter Tori while Lakayla's on her honeymoon. Seems simple enough, until Tori goes missing. Her kidnapper has an offer for Brie that involves kidnapping someone else to trade for Tori. Running low on time and options, Brie doesn't like the person she's turning into, but what else can she do when the alternative is going to jail for murder? So there you go. A thriller that's fascinating. We have a lot of moms going on this month. Maybe that's the theme of July. I kind of feel like every time we like read books or whatever, there's always like a theme and it seems like these releases kind of have a lot of motherly figures in it, which is really cool. So July, hands off, hats off, hands off. You can remove your hands for the moms. I don't know. Hats off to the moms in the month of July. I'm excited for you and check that out. So this again is a psychological thriller. It comes out on Kindle and Kindle Unlimited and probably paperback when the time comes as well. And you can be able to buy this on July 23rd as well. So that's it. That is the five books for the Indie Author Showcase coming out in July that I've selected. If any of those sound good to you, uh, make sure you go into the description and I will have everything linked there for you to be able to purchase easily, all that type of stuff. Not affiliate, straight towards the author, all that type of stuff. So go check it out. If you're somebody or someone you know wants to be on the Inner Author Showcase, hey, you can go ahead and email me if you'd like. Here it is. That is my email. Uh, please just let me know if you want to do that business stuff or whatever only in that email. But if you want to tell me how cool I am too, I guess I won't. Mind. Uh, but yeah, so you can email me there and uh, we can get you on the Author Showcase and it doesn't cost you anything, which is really cool. So I hope you guys have a fantastic July. I hope you're able to pick up a few of these books this month and I will talk to you guys and see you guys on the next video. And uh, yeah, toodles. Indie off the Showcase. Indie off the Showcase. Indie off the Showcase. We showcase those authors with books coming out the next month.